Hello and welcome to Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the Surface 604 Shred electric mountain bike in for testing and review. So this is a pretty interesting electric mountain bike because it features uh, 28 miles per hour of pedal assist. There's the throttle option up to 20 miles per hour and uh, has a nice integrated battery here in the down tube. This is a 48 volt 10.4 amp hour is the stock battery. There's also the 14 amp hour optional high capacity battery pack. There's the 500 watt geared rear hub motor from Bafang, SRAM X5 drivetrain, Tektro Dorado hydraulic disc brake system, um, and the Suntour XCM suspension fork with four inches of travel, and the 2.8 inch wide CST tires. So a lot built into this bike and it retails for $2,099 and that's uh, for the stock battery configuration. There's also the optional 14 amp hour battery for $200 more, so that'd be $2,299. So this is a video overview and I'll have a full review for you at electricbikereport.com and there's a link to that in the notes for this video. But with that, let's get into the details. So let's take a closer look at the 6061 aluminum frame. This features a lot of the hydroform tubing that has been shaped to uh, create strength where it's needed, to integrate the battery, to create a nice rider fit uh, overall. So we'll take a look at some of these details here. First of all, here at the head tube, it's got the tapered head tube with the top tube and down tube. Um, connecting in here, just a lot of surface area and welds uh, connecting to this high stress uh, part of the frame. And what's interesting too is you can see the top tube has sort of a uh, sort of a trapezoidal look to it. And speaking of, of shaping the tubes, you can see it really slopes down considerably to provide a nice bit of standover height. And that's really important for uh, a mountain bike so you can maneuver a little bit more on the bike and just have that standover clearance. And then taking a look at the down tube, uh, right here at the uh, top, you can see there's some internal cable routing. That helps with just uh, protecting the cables and uh, providing a clean look. And then the battery integration. This is a really nice location for the battery pack because it uh, you know, basically positions the battery weight low and centered on the bike, which is great for the balance of the bike as well as just overall handling. And uh, yeah, just a very nice feature there. And then taking a look at the top tube to seat tube connection here. This is a reinforcing gusset and uh, it provides a lot of surface area for welding the connection there. Um, there's the seat post quick release so you can quickly adjust the seat height. And then uh, right here are the bolt attachment points for a rear rack that uh, Surface 604 sells as an optional accessory. And then uh, right back here um, near the motor, it's kind of hard to see, but right back there, um, there's a plate and that's the torque sensor. So what that does is it, uh, senses your pedal power and then blends in the pedal assist proportionally based on your pedal power. So it's a really intuitive ride feel. It just really blends in the, the motor power well. And then, uh, yeah, just coming back here to the front of the bike, we'll take a look at the suspension fork. This is the Suntour XCM suspension fork and it provides four inches of travel. And uh, on the right side here, there's the lockout dial, so you can lock out the fork if you want to. If you're riding on pretty smooth roads and you want a, a really efficient ride, that's an option. Just very easy to, to unlock the fork uh, again. And then over here, this is the uh, spring rate, the preload dial, so you can adjust the, the suspension to fit your weight and uh, riding preferences but uh, it does a nice job of uh, smoothing out the road. So let's take a closer look at the drivetrain of the bike. First of all are the Welgo platform pedals and these have a, a wide platform with a pretty good grippy surface there and reflectors on the front and back. And then this is the 38 tooth uh, chain ring that then drives back to the nine speed cog set back here. And the range is a 12 tooth to a 34 tooth uh, cog set and then uh, it's shifted through by the SRAM X5 rear derailleur and then this is the Bafang uh, 500 watt geared rear hub motor that has peak power of 750 watts and it provides pedal assist up to 28 miles per hour and uh, throttle up to 20 and what's really interesting is that uh, this is a very quiet geared rear hub motor probably one of the quietest I've ridden and uh, you really just don't hear anything so definitely a big highlight of the shred. 
All right, so let's take a closer look at the uh, battery here. Now this is the optional higher capacity 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery that uh, adds $200 to the price of the of the bike. The stock battery is the 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour. Now here at the top, there's the battery level indicator. Just push that button. You can also see the battery level on the display, which I'll show in a little bit. And then there's a USB charge port right here. So if you want to charge a smartphone or tablet or something else when you're out and about, that's an option. Okay, so we'll take a look at the other side of the battery. Uh, up here is the battery lock uh, to the frame, and then there's two keys supplied, and you can remove the battery by just uh, unlocking the top there, and it rotates to the side. Here's a closer look at the battery lock mechanism and the down tube with the battery removed, and then the attachment point down there uh, near the cranks. To uh, reinstall, basically the same in reverse, just line it up down there at the bottom. And then uh, here at the top, just click it into place. Take the key, and then just double check it, make sure it's securely attached, and you're set to go. So here's a look at the battery removed from the bike with the charger plugged into the lower left side of the battery. The battery can be charged on or off the bike. Slowing down the shred is handled by the Tektro Dorado hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors on the front and the back of the bike. And uh, these have a very powerful feel and uh, they have a lot of good uh, power modulation between just a little bit of power all the way up to, to full stop. And uh, these are a nice, uh, a nice highlight of the shred and they're you know really important for having uh, powerful braking on a bike that can provide uh, assist up to 28 miles per hour. Okay, so taking a look at the handlebar area. First of all, there's the lock-on grips here. They have collars on each side, so the, the grips really uh, have a solid attachment to the handlebar. There's the Tektro Dorado hydraulic front disc brake lever here, and uh, the lever reach can be adjusted to fit your hand size, and there's sensors in each brake lever, so uh, when you engage either brake lever, the pedal assist or throttle will stop. And this is the thumb throttle right here. So um, you can use this as a boost to pedal assist levels, or you can use it as a throttle on its own without pedaling if you want to. And this will provide assist up to 20 miles per hour, where the pedal assist will provide uh, up to 28 miles per hour. And then you've got the uh, control pad here. So the plus and minus are for the pedal assist levels. You've got your light button right here, and then the information button cycles through info on the display, and then the on off button right there. Okay, let's take a closer look at the color display here. So up at the top, you've got your battery level indicator, then you've got your current speed, and then right here is the power that the motor is providing. You can't see it right now, but when you're riding along, it shows you the different power uh, levels that are being provided. And then uh, you've got your trip distance, you've got your pedal assist level, and then more information here, which we'll cycle through in a minute. But uh, using the plus and minus buttons on the control pad, uh, you can see that the pedal assist levels are going up to 5 there, and then back down to 1, and then 0 is no pedal assist. And then uh, over here, if you look there, I'm uh, using the information button on the control pad. So you've got your odometer, your max speed, your average speed, time, that's uh, ride time, and then uh, odometer again. So a lot of good uh, information. Uh, you know, the important information is very easy to read here on the center mounted display. And then uh, under the display, there is a USB charge port. So you remove this rubber cover here, and uh, there's the USB charge port for charging a smartphone or other USB chargeable device when you're out and about. And then on the right side of the handlebar is the bell here, the Tektro Dorado rear uh, hydraulic disc brake lever, the SRAM shifter for shifting through the 9-speed cog set, and then that uh, lock-on grip there. So let's take a quick look at the ride position. The uh, shred has a uh, pretty typical mountain bike styling, uh, pretty wide and flat handlebars. Then the uh, stem has uh, a, a bit of rise to it. Uh, Surface 604 provides the uh, option to upgrade to an adjustable stem if you want to, and that helps to just dial in the handlebar position. And then there's the uh, Celle Royale Nebula uh, saddle here and uh, has sort of more of a performance style with a narrower profile for uh, efficient pedaling. So this is the Promax uh, stock seat post. Surface 604 does offer the option to upgrade to a Suntour suspension seat post if you want to add a little bit of rear suspension to the bike. 
So these are the CST Patrol tires, and they're 27 and a half inch by 2.8 inch wide uh, off-road tires, and uh, they really provide a nice, comfortable, and stable ride feel to the shred. The uh, the large tread patch on the ground uh, really provides that stability, and uh, the the large air volume that these tires have uh, when you run them at the lower tire pressures, they do a great job of absorbing a lot of the bumps and cracks and just rough stuff in the road. So here's a quick look at the accessories that come on the shred. Um, this is the LED headlight that runs off of the e-bike battery, so you don't have to worry about charging separate batteries for the lights. Projects a nice beam of light for, uh, for seeing the road as well as being seen out on the road. And then uh, up here at the handlebar, this is the bell. And then there's the kickstand that's attached to the um, back of the frame here. And the height is adjustable so that you can uh, set the angle of the bike when it's parked. All right, so that's the video overview of the Surface 604 Shred. Make sure you check out electricbikereport.com for the full review, and there's a link to that in the notes for this video. That includes a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts, all at electricbikereport.com.